Gentlemen, 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 what up, guys? It's your boy B back in the lab, gentlemen. Another victory in the books. Another W is in the books. Another workout is in the books, sir. Yes, sir, gentlemen. They want to put a salary cap on top of your dollars, gentlemen. They want to put a ceiling on top of your innovation. There is no ceiling on top of your innovation. There is no salary cap on top of your dollars, gentlemen. And in the words of Hammer, any day above dirt is a good day. It's up to you to turn it into a productive one. But let me get into this. Today I want to talk about old folks still acting like they're in high school. And is it that hard for people just to act their age? Act mature, man. But you got folks just going around starting drama, gossiping, giving out bad advice. You know, just being in everybody's business, just being nosy. You know, only fans just doing just doing way out stuff, man. And 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 and, and this is actually a problem. Like this is one of the problems with this country, man. Because you got too many people giving out bad advice and they're not living it. If you're not doing it, then you shouldn't be offering advice about it. I guess people get a certain age and they feel that they are at the age to where they could tell somebody they can offer advice. Just like me, you know, I offer advice to the justice, but I'm. I just offer advice. I don't even offer advice. I offer my opinion. But the opinion I give you come from me being there before. It comes from experience. And you got people that just wear too many hats, man. They just, you know, they, they wear too many hats. And especially these actors, man. If you, you ain't doing it, then, then then zip your lip about it. You know, these just like these actors, man. You know, they, they, they it just like, say like The View, for instance. You know, they talk, they, you know, the, the the advice and stuff they talk about, you know, a lot of people that's watching that show are like stay-at-home wives, uh, you know, mothers. But see, they don't realize that, you know, these women ain't, you know, a, you know, a good percentage of them ain't going home to husbands. They're not going home to happy marriages. They're going home to wine and cats. It's just acting, man. And that actually causes more damage than it does good i mean sure you're acting and you gotta get you gotta move the needle as far as viewers but this isn't productive this isn't game changing this isn't innovation this just this is just it's just entertainment but it's actually poisonous entertainment it's not it's not it's not moving the needle as far as saving folks and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to save folks and it's just yeah, and that's what they go home to, wine and cats. You know, and they don't they don't know nothing about keeping a man. Nothing about keeping a man, you know? And yeah, you know, but the reason that's why I make this content. That way you could distinguish the good from the bad. That way you could distinguish the snakes in the grass. Keep your grass cut low, gentlemen. Keep your grass cut low. You know, I mean, yeah, you could take in too much red pill content. I feel that that, but you know, you have to understand that there's like you know, there's a, you know, you got to take in the good with the bad with some, and then some is just entertainment. It's just, it moves the viewer needle. And, you, you know, you don't want to just be a viewer. You want to actually gain some knowledge, gain some wisdom, because we're going to a whole nother economy. And I was watching one of these economic channels, and they said, uh, I guess some big YouTuber, Meet Kevin, does econo econ um, he does the economy as far as like the stock market and stuff. And he said that he isn't um, going to be, he, well, this is what he says. He says that he's not going to be making any more YouTube videos because of the state of the market. I, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, this is what I was just reading. And, you know, and I've been talking about this for a while. We're going to a whole nother economy, man. And... You know, I don't I don't give out financial advice. I don't offer financial advice, but like there's just no fundamentals, man. Like you need to see some fundamentals. This is just my opinion though, but like when you have $150,000, $200,000 houses in Gary, Indiana, you really need to look at fundamentals. You need to search for fundamentals. There are no fundamentals like, okay, if you're going to have $200,000 houses in Gary, Indiana, you need that same type of work in, in Gary, Indiana. Work, you, I mean, you need like, that work has to be there. The job, the economy has to match these prices. And that's what I mean by fundamentals. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. But like just matching it up 
it's just it's questionable so it's you know, I, you know, I don't give out the advice but it's just for me stuff like this just you know it's head scratching mind boggling but yeah you know it's just you know you're gonna have haters whatever you do man whatever you do you're gonna have haters whether you make it to the nba whether you make it to the nfl whether you are a successful businessman you're gonna have haters whether you're at jack in the box with a sign whether you're at chevron washing windows whether you are a street preacher holding up the sign that says do it for jesus you're going to have haters. So you might as well get the job done. Don't care about what they say. Who's to say they're going to be alive a year from now anyway? So you're going to put your life on hold worried about what other people say. And there's no guarantee that it's going to circle back to you anyway. So be productive, man. Turn the day into a positive. Keep grinding. Keep kicking. Keep chopping wood, gentlemen. Keep promoting the good word, fighting a good fight. And good stuff's going to happen. Sir, yes, sir.